I've always said my brother's full of crap. Now he quite literally is. Well, it rained and there's another chance of rain in a couple of days. We're gonna to try to get this chicken litter spread. We used to use a lot of chicken litter and yeah, our labor just got a little short and so we kind of got out of it, but we got some this year. It's good stuff, it's good fertility. It's some benefits that dry fertilizer doesn't, but it's a lot of labor to spread. Have to narrow down to 25 feet. There's just not any. If you're going to do a decent job, you've got to you've got to narrow it down. One of the problems with the litter is that you cannot you cannot spread very wide. Fertilizer you can do. Uh, we spread 80 feet. There's some people that try to spread 100 feet. I don't really think it's best, but. Um, they're trying to cover more ground faster. What happens if you have hills with fertilizer? If you have hills and wind, uh, you end up getting a streaked fertilizer pattern. It'll be lighter in the middle. And with litter, it's even harder because litter is lighter. Um, it doesn't throw it as far. And so um, we're trying to spread 30 feet right now, but as you can see, right here it's too thin so we're going to try to narrow it down so loading litter it's an early morning so you see that steam that's because underneath the litter it's it's warm so the steam is because it's a cold morning and it's there we go now let's get the drone up in the air chicken litter. We've got the pilot sitting next to me. You can see the litter coming out back there. Well, maybe not because of the dirty windows. If you haven't noticed, farmers have very dirty windows all the time. You run both the fertilizer buggy and the chicken litter spreader. Which one do you like more and why? Uh, I like the fertilizer buggy more. It smells better. <laughs> it smells well. And you get a lot more done more quickly. Um, with litter, I can 
uh, I have to fill up every, I, it takes me about 15 minutes to spread a load, and then I have to spend 10 or 15 minutes filling it back up, and so I'm constantly in and out of the tractor, and you just don't get as much done. And also the fertilizer buggy has uh, a lot bigger tires, and so it rides better. What's your max speed? depends on how much I'm putting out. If I'm putting out a lower rate, then I can go faster. If I'm putting out a higher rate, then I have to slow up. The spinners that are on the back that are that are throwing the litter out, if you go too fast, it'll put too much litter for those spinners. They can't handle it. And you'll have a streak in the middle. buckets does it take to fill the whatever you're supposed to call that spreader I guess litter spreader yeah I don't know I've spread thousands of tons of litter and I've never counted how many buckets it takes dumping litter that's how we bring it to the field and there's tarps on them the tarps they fold up like that Hydraulically, I think, or electric. Those dump trailers are pretty dangerous. They can flip over easily. So, that's why we don't have any dump trailers. We only have ones that dump out from the bottom. That is how they dump. A giant hydraulic thing right there. It lifts it up and it dumps it. You can see it out the, out the back. That's why they're so dangerous, they go so up, high up in the air. And now, just like the other one, he folds it down. And we load it, and then he spreads it. And then we, and then we spread right and incorporate it with the turbo till. Yeah, you get the idea. That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We're just doing a few things over here about farm. Jonah's helping. It's winter. So, um, the turbo tilling, that's what's gonna be the next video. And then after that, maybe a little bit of washing tractors. It's kind of calmed down lately. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.